Hi, I'm uh, Elder McQueen. Elder McQueen, I'm the coach. Uh, back with Bread for Our Youth Ministries, and I'm going to finish up uh, talking about spiritual warfare. Then we're going to move to something else. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, and we're going to move on to uh, something different. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 says, put on, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So we need to put on the whole armor of God in order to fight spiritual warfare. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days, and having done all to stand, stand. Therefore, having your loans good about with truth, and having on the, the breastplate of righteousness, one of the, one of the uh, part of the armor, breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of, of peace, the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith where you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Okay, shield of faith. And take the heaven of salvation, the heaven of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And pray always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Now, so, when you go to chapter 6 of Ephesians, starting with uh, verse 11 on to verse uh, 18, actually, it talks about the weapons of warfare. And you should become very uh, familiar with the weapons of warfare. Now we're going to move on. We're going to talk about being conformed. We should not be conformed to this world. We should, we should not be conformed to this world. Okay, here's something that, young man, that you have to do. You have to choose who you're going to serve. Make up your mind. You're going to live for Jesus or you're going to live for the devil. If you choose to live unsaved, you've already lost the battle. If you choose to live for Christ, then stop trying to fashion yourself like the world. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 talks about being not conformed to the world. Be not, Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says, Be not conformed to the world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. In other words, if you, young, young man, if you choose to live for Jesus Christ, you have to choose not to be conformed to this world. But you have to choose to be submissive and that your mind can be uh, transformed and renewed daily. I want to say this. Uh, this pan-sagging fiasco has caused many young Afro-American males specifically to be pointed out and, and enforces a stereotype that the world has toward Afro-American men. Young men are doing it, you, young men you're doing it to yourself. Putting your pants, you should be putting your pants up. You need to be loose from this awful fiasco called pants sagging. Here's some questions you should ask yourself. I've seen some, some men, 40 and 50 years old, walking around with their pants sagging, hanging down their butt. What an example that to set up for, to set for a young person. But young man, even in the midst of bad examples, you have to know to turn the table yourself. You know, you may not always find a good example in an in area, but one thing for sure, you can look out and you can see, and you can realize the truth is, sagging your pants is really foolishness. It's really disrespect to yourself. It's disrespect to people around you. 
and it's just another example of being conformed to the things of the world. Here are several questions you should ask yourself before you consider sagging your pants and walking around like that. Here are several questions that an individual should really ask himself before falling for these fads or trends. When you, next time you think about sagging your pants, walking out there like that, you know, looking like a bum, think about this. How does this improve my image as a male? Will this type of appearance further in, will this type of appearance further enforce stereotypes? By me choosing to be a part of such trends, might this trend in some way hinder my chances of advancing advancement in some way? I said this question, how do I really look through the eyes of professional oriented people walking around with my pants sagging off my behind? Will I put will this type of image really what will, will I will I accept this question, will I project this type of image when applying for a job? When I go to get a job, will I walk in there with my pants sagging? Or will I pull my pants up, or will I use my belt, and I will go in looking presentable. Which one will I do? If you will go, if, if you go in there, and you change your appearance, and you go in a nice, neat appearance, you pull your pants up, you put your belt on, then you're basically saying that you know for yourself that walking around with your pants hanging down is not right, and you're just not man enough to admit that, and you're not man enough to pull away from the the fads and the trends of the world, as, as the, of the world, and be your own man. Is it possible you might be a weak-minded male that falls for every meaningless, powerless trend that come along? There are many. There are a lot of different trends. Uh, I have a question: Will these trends bring harm to my body? As a Christian, you have to self. Can I glorify God through these actions? Can I really, as a, a young Christian man, glorify God by, by walking the street with my pants hanging down my behind, exposing my underwear? Does that really glorify God? First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 says, Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Verse 20 says, For ye are brought with a price. Young man, you were brought with a price by Jesus Christ. He gave us life that you may have eternal life. Jesus Christ gave us life for me and you. You were brought for, with a price. You're not your own. So when you decide to, whatever you decide to do, whatever the appearance you decide to have as a young man, ask yourself this question. Does my appearance give any glory to God? Or does my appearance really offend God? Be not conformed to the world. This is a very important thing. We are the young person. Many of you will go along with the fads, the trends, just to fit in. And that's not really good. Choose the day who you're going to serve. Have some pride, young man, in the way you carry yourself. Rethink what you're doing as a young man. And I accept the question, the thing that I'm doing, the way I'm carrying myself, does it really mean, does it, 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 is it a indication that I'm getting ready to move forward in my life and I'm gonna be able to, to uh, establish some of the goals I want in life? Do people really respect me the way I carry myself? Am 
Am I enforcing stereotypes by presenting a very unpleasant appearance? Am I respect, disrespecting my culture by carrying a very undesirable appearance? It doesn't matter that most people seem to be doing it. It's not true. Most people in the science are not wearing their pants down the behind showing their, showing their underwear. It's a percentage of doing but no, more people are not doing it. If you're a young man and you've been caught up into the fads of this world, it's time for you to take a stand. It's time for you to pull your pants up. It's, it's, it's not good. 40 and 50 year old men walking around the street with their pants down. And you are the young man, you see this, and you think because he does it and he's 50, it's okay. But it doesn't make it okay. The Bible says, what God said, to know to do right and not do it is sin. Have a mind of your own. Take your life back. Break away from the, the, the needless, degrading fads and trends that seem to be gripping on to many of our young people. Time for you to take a stand against it. It's time for you to take a stand for Jesus Christ. Say no to the sagging pants. Say no to degrading yourself. Say no to degrading your culture. Say no to sagging pants. And that's all I have to say about that part. May God touch your heart. May you pull away from trying to conform to the things of the world. And may you, your appearance be one that glorify God. See you in the next session.